All right, YouTube, what is going on? It is Conflict Now Callum here today, bringing you another episode of our Transport Fever Let's Play. As you can see there, the train took a really weird bump as it went over that level crossing. But you can probably notice a difference already, actually. We've doubled up the track, and the reason for that is because today we're going to go ahead and do a lot of expanding on the railways. So there's already 14 people waiting here. I'm pretty sure the train is extremely full. As you see, we've got 101 passengers now. Yes, they're going two different ways, but I mean, that's a full train's worth, you know what I mean? So it is a lot of people. As you can see, the train's already full, so it couldn't even pick up anyone if it wanted to. So we need to go ahead and build more trains. And instead of building passing places, you know, I thought we might as well just go ahead and double up the line because we're going to create this into a loop in about two more episodes anyway. As you can see here at Haver Hill, we do have a lot of people waiting as well. And then coming up to Loughton, it's the same scenario. So we definitely need to go ahead and put more trains on the track. In this episode, though, I've actually already recorded this episode. And I was thinking about it and I was like, I, was, I wasn't happy because I was jumping from trains to buses to buses to trains and I was a wee bit all over the place. So in this episode, I just want to focus solely on trains and then in the next episode, we'll probably focus solely on buses, if you don't mind. I really do like trains and I'm really, really excited to see what we can do with them. So we're going to start off here by buying a second train for our line just because the line is actually doing really really successful as you can see at the bottom i mean okay it's giving me a profit of six hundred thousand, but that could easily be times 10 if we get an extra one or two trains on the track for the time being i think i'll just put one extra train on the track however there'll be a strong possibility i might go ahead and do two so I'm thinking again we're pretty much just going to duplicate the train just because we've not unlocked any new passenger cars so it's pointless buying any train that can go over 100 kilometers per hour. So we're going to go for our classic A35, go ahead and buy that and then we're just going to buy the same carriages, it is just going to literally be a clone of the train. So buy 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and that's cost me quite a bit of money actually but we do have a lot of money coming in now. Money's coming in at a really steady rate and I'm pretty sure every single line is near enough profitable and doing very well as well like for example you can see the right sail Wembley line it's at 1.5 million which is mental as you can see the train is continuing to make us more money and as this next second train gets into a bit more use hopefully it will go ahead and push that maybe up to about 5 million that would be really really nice to see Overall, uh, everything it looks like the Haver Connect just went positive. We built that at the end of the last episode. Overall, everything else is doing really, really well. There's nothing really that stands out. I mean, there's a few. The Loughton Royston line, that seems to be doing extremely well. That's in the 400s. Uh, they've also got one, the Loughton Haver Hill, which is really weird, actually. I think there could be a correlation here, though I'm not 100% sure. If you have a train and a bus going to the same place, it makes both of them more popular. Because Haverhill train station is absolutely heaving and the buses are the most profitable buses outside the ride sale Wembley line. So I'm not really at all sure that is, maybe because it's got a connect as well, Haverhill. It's something definitely to go ahead and look at and monitor and maybe just, it gives us more connections anyway. So what we're going to do now though is we're going to go ahead and build our loop. Now where's the loop going to go? That's a very good question. So there's some towns in this map which we're still not linked up to. I believe there's four. There's this wee one up here called Curtain. Then going back over to this side of the map, we've got this here. I'm going to rename this town actually. I'm just going to rename it to Greenlays because I can't be bothered saying two words. So up here we've got Greenlays which we need to go ahead and connect it up to. That's just a really, really, I didn't hit the enter button. See, that's what annoys me in this. You have to hit the enter button for something to save, which is just a bit, that's one, that's like the only flaw of this game so far, that and the frame rate, like. We need to connect up green lays anyway. We also need to connect up this place here called Fairford, and we also need to link up Pateley Bridge as well. And these are three towns which are, I mean, they're relatively decent in size. So, okay, you've got 200, you're kind of small. Fairford, you're 260. And then Greenlays is probably going to be about 200 as well. Now, the reason these places aren't growing is because they're just not getting the people visiting them. If you want to get to these places, you have to drive. So, unfortunately, we need to go ahead and just connect them up to give them that growth. So, what the plan is to do is extend the line from Loughton to Royston, from Royston to come up to Greenlays, Greenlays to Fairford, Fairford over to Pateley Bridge, 
then into Philly and then back in to Ride. And then we'll also do other combinations as well over time. For example, we'll do a different loop which will go from Ride to Wills, then to Royston to Loughton and loop rounds. And we'll also eventually, we'll connect up every single town ideally and this let's play is going to have a railway station eventually in some form. So I'm just trying to think what way we actually want to start. I think we're going to start off by connecting up to Royston. And this is why I doubled up the track. Because I want trains going clockwise and anti-clockwise around this loop. So I thought, you know what, let's be a little bit prepared. So going back into here, it looks like since we built Loughton train station, there's been more housing being built. Which is a real shame because you're all going to have to get knocked down. Or most of these are going to have to get knocked down anyway. To allow for the new railway to get built. What I should probably do actually is build the railway stations first. I think that's probably a better idea just so we know where we're aiming for. So I think open-ended train stations again. I think extra length. I'm going to give Royston four tracks. I think I'll give all the others two because Royston is quite a central one. So it can definitely have lots of options and give that a high speed track. Now the question is where is the train station going to go? It could definitely go, I'm thinking, out on this side of the town here because it's actually quite close to the bus station. One thing I do want to do before we do that though is sort of just connect these up, make my life much easier. That's a nice straight road as well that would also allow for a connect, which again, I don't really want to deal with buses in this episode, though we can do if we really have to. But I mean, the building this railway line, it is going to take some time. And of course, we just unlocked... Quite a few good unlocks actually, so a new train, the A4, uh, that, I'm not at all sure how much that'll cost, but that's definitely something to look into. New carriages, which I assume will go faster and carry more people. Opal Blitz as well, that's a really good truck for transporting goods, which we'll get into in a few episodes down the line, but again I was thinking about this as well. Something about goods, it just doesn't entice me or excite me, you know, moving passengers around really does, so... We will get to goods eventually, but we'll definitely not spend as much time on goods as we are going to with passengers. So let's go ahead and link up this first railway station. I should probably turn on the contour lines. That was the mistake I initially made last time. So as you can see, we are not really going to be changing height too much, actually. This section of the track is going to be relatively flat, which is good to see. So we'll just have you cut through here. Actually, maybe not quite at that angle. Cut through there like that. And then from here we should be able to make a direct connection and I think these will come into this side here. Like so, through to there and that is that, no problemo. We'll just double up the track and then we'll go ahead and I'll do all the junctions later on actually but I think I should double up the track. Then now, so making that connection there, it's not cost us too much money this straight but I guess this straight's a flat straight. The next thing will be the problem is like this hill for example to get over to green lays it's going to be really really difficult we are going to have to construct some form of tunnel and the train station is definitely going to have to be on the side of town that is for sure when am i going to put the station i don't really know i mean as you can see green lays hasn't grown much in time so what i think i'm going to do is i think i'm going to build my own road again so the train station can lay along there and then you can loop round into there and then i'm just going to basically make some roads and then hopefully they'll start to build off these roads. That's my hope anyway. Uh, as the town grows because it'll be getting more people. Again, I'm not really at all sure how popular the loop is going to be. I will have to see about that. Uh, it can either go really well or really bad. Uh, just because obviously these towns don't have any... Like if a train station for example in Greenlees is on the outside of town. Then people are going to struggle to get into the inside of the town. They're going to have to walk. So it might be a little bit difficult. And they might not get too much use. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and give this station only two platforms, I think. I don't think it needs much more than that. So go ahead and add that in there. And then the next place is Fairford, which, again, I don't think actually this will be... It's a really good location to go ahead and build a train station. I think that's going to be off this piece of road at the top here. However, it might just be difficult to get to just because this part of the map is actually quite hilly. So it might mean we need a lot of tunnels and getting over to Pateley as well. There's definitely going to have to be an extremely large. You know what, we'll deal with that in a moment or two. So let's go ahead and connect these two up now. So back over to Royston. There's definitely going to, this is definitely going to cost us quite a bit of money. But as you can see, we're up to, what, 22 million now. So we're definitely doing quite good. 
So user gonna leave the station on what line? I'm thinking actually user gonna be on the outside line because I think the inside line might go over to Will's Den. So user gonna leave on this outside line here and then ideally I would love to just go through here like that. But that's going to cost me 19 million and I need to make two tunnels. So that's really not feasible. So we can get quite a straight section of track going round to about here. And then we're going to have to start curling and twisting from here on in. So going round there, that doesn't make a tunnel, which is a good thing. And then if we continue, this is going to be a rapid downhill actually. Oh my god, it also wants a tunnel. Jesus, it wants a tunnel and a bridge. Because it is quite a rapid downhill, to be fair. See, that would cost 2.4 million, but I honestly don't think we're going to have much more choice. And the reason for this is... Is, at least it's not building a bridge. That's one thing I'm happy about. It's not building a bridge. So, and it is relatively as flat as it can be, just at the angle of the station. So, double that up in a second. I don't really want to go ahead and repeat myself over and over again but it looks interesting as it makes its way through the mountains i guess i just don't know how much it's going to cost to double up hopefully it won't cost as much as that because that cost a good two million there this bit here though is just going to be expensive as anything we can we probably could go quite a bit around this hill actually that's probably the aim here so we'll loop you out to about there and then yeah we should be able to actually just go around this hill near enough so go up to about there, which hasn't cost me too much. And then I should just be able to get a direct connection from here in to the station. If we can do this correctly. There we go. So that's only cost me 179,000. So that section wasn't too bad. But again, that section's relatively flat and relatively straight. Getting up to here though, this is going to be a real issue. Uh, we're going to go ahead and build a station here for... Paintly Bridge and Philly now. Again, you're just going to be a two-track station. I think you're going to be about there because that is quite a central location and I think it gives... on relatively flat land anyway. I'm happy to go ahead and build there and it does have a good sphere of influence as I said, so I'm happy with that position there. Philly, uh, not really at all sure. I think you will maybe go at this side of town here. So I'm just going to get rid of you two roads. We're going to go ahead in here and add in another road. What there. And then build the station off here. I might make you a four platform station. Just in case. And if we could rotate you. This is going to be difficult. Actually it's not too bad. So there we go. You've got a much smaller sphere of influence. But you're all set to go there. And that is that built. So we now know what we're aiming for. Which is good. Let's just see how difficult this next part is going to be. Because I can imagine. Just. Just look at the terrain for example here. I mean it's going to be an absolute nightmare. So we should be able to get along. Roughly to here no problem. Then the problems start. I think literally we're just going to have to build a massive fuck off tunnel. <laughs> YOLO. I did it. I, I didn't think about it and I just went for it. And literally I don't think we have any other option than building a tunnel that large. So I guess if you're going from Paintley Bridge to here at Fairford. You're not going to get much of a scenic view to be honest but I think that's, that looks kind of smart actually just the the cliff change there and that is kind of realistic like you do see in some railway lines that cut through especially in Scotland that cut through mountains they just blasted away at the rock and there'd be like a, a mesh over that rock to make sure no more rock fell. Uh, the texture itself though doesn't look that amazing. It doesn't look too bad to be fair actually, but that's that built. I am worried about how much this is going to cost to double up, but I'll deal with that in a second. Going from Paintly Bridge though down to Philly, it is going to be... Shouldn't be too bad, I mean... We are going downhill, but we're going downhill much more gradually this time, so there shouldn't be any bridges or tunnels, I don't think anyway. Uh, so build you to about there, and then have you loop round. And I've got a feeling people are going to say, oh, this is a bit repetitive, this is a bit repetitive, this game is a bit repetitive. All you do is build buses and build trains, so I hope this isn't bothering you too much. Then from here we need to get back over to ride, so I think we'll start building out the ride ends, and we'll start to 
We could almost make two train stations and ride, and that's not a joke. Have like one up there and have one out here. Uh, it just depends how ride grows, I guess, in time. So from here to ride down to the water, we do face a bit of a downhill challenge. Hopefully we can get away without building a tunnel though. So I'm going to work my way through here, and then you're going to come down there. It's going to build me a bridge, I think, which... That's going to cost a lot. Tell you what, why don't we lower you? Can we lower you? Don't really think it wants to, to be honest. So why don't we just go down a wee bit more gradually then. Let's cut more into this hill. And then let's slowly just continue to come down here. That's cost me much less. And then we're actually going to have to bridge over the river as well and get over to the station. So what I will do is I will like to do a bridge like that, but I don't think that's going to be too possible. So we'll go over to the station here and just build out of it. You will definitely be using this hand side of the train station. Then you're going to connect to about there. Then this will be the fun part, this part here, getting the bridge to build. That's built not too bad actually, and then hopefully we can get a nice angle going into there. Just about. Yep, there we go. And that is that done. So, I think all in all we've got one bridge here which is very low, but I don't think there'd ever be a boat. I don't even know if I'm going to do boats, to be honest. I mean, there's an opportunity to move goods down the river, I guess, at some locations, but uh, I don't think I'd ever move passengers. Maybe from... Nah, I don't think... I think it'd be goods on the river, and there's a lot of goods to do with food, plastic, oil, and wood all along the river, so there's definitely opportunities there. Uh, but we've got a bridge there, we've got a pretty big tunnel here, and I don't think we have any more bridges or tunnels. We have another tunnel here, so all in all, there is a lot of infrastructure being built there, but we've built Royston, we've built Greenleys, Fairford, Pateley Bridge, and Phillies. We've added in five new train stations, which is quite a lot. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is just double up the line off camera, and hopefully it will not cost me too much money. So it looks like doubling up a tunnel is going to cost me like a ridiculous amount of money unfortunately but I think again I'm just going to go for it just because we're going to need it eventually anyway so we might as well just do it now. I mean we do have the money. The time I finish off building this and get it up and running we are hopefully going to be back close to about 15 million anyway so we're always fine for money and again loans don't cost too much so I'm not worried at all about going ahead and spending money on something that will get use. So I'm currently still in the process of just adding in lights onto the line and just doing a few junctions. Uh, it's managed to get all the way to 1939 actually. In a sense, this is me just letting the game run while I do some construction. I could have gone ahead and paused it, but I thought, you know what, this might as well just go ahead and continue building. And we've unlocked a new bus, which is interesting, so we'll have a look at that very, very soon. What I'm doing right now is I'm simply just adding in different kinds of pathing signals and if you have them like multiple along the line it means you can have trains closer together which realistically when there is nine stations on a loop we're not going to have that many trains for the time being however as things go on and we add more and more trains on we up the frequency then it's definitely going to be a little bit different i do realize that i'm probably doing half of this wrong but i don't really care so one there one needs to go there and then you need to go there, and that's that side done. So basically I've done crossovers at every single after and before every single station. Those are where the crossovers are located at. Just so it means that... I guess trains can just use both sides of the station for some reason if they have to. Like there's another train there, or I don't know, there's some error in the line that the connection breaks and the line can't be found because that on occasion can happen so and also just spamming in these additional lights all around the line just so it means that trains can get closer to each other and they don't have to wait too long because obviously waiting trains is not going to be a good thing to have we want to try and avoid that because the more trains are on the move the more money we land up making Anyway, so that is me just about done now, I think. Uh, it's taken me a long time, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that is me done. So that's the look created. Uh, it's taken a long time, and it did cost us quite a bit of money doubling up the line. That definitely cost us a bit of money, but we made that money back. But 
in all that time we've wasted going ahead, or not wasted, but spent building the line, as you can see here, we have a lot of build up now, we have a lot of queues, so as you can see this train's full and it's coming into a station with 146 passengers, now some of will be going one way, some of will be going the other way, I know that, but there's still a lot of passengers, so we definitely need to go ahead and we're going to buy three trains off the start here, and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and assign them to different lines because I guess now we have a loop now I don't think I'm gonna function the loop as a proper loop just yet because oh, I don't know no I don't think we will so for the time being right now anyway we're gonna get another A3 on here and then we're gonna add some more we got a new carriage actually which is interesting it can hold 20 passengers so we're gonna uh, you know what we're just gonna go with the traditional train which we have so we're going to assign another one to use to the train to the rise Loughton line basically so that's a third train on that line because if we go into here this is making mad amount of profit it's making 3.37 million with all the passengers waiting that could easily go well above five so we might as well go ahead and do that now with that done let's go ahead and create a new line and the line's going to be going the other way so i guess it's going to be like two half circle lines so it's going to go here from ride over here to philly from Philly up here to Pateley Bridge, over here to Fairford, and then up to Greenleys, Royston, and then Loughton, and then it's going to stop and come back. So this line here is going to be pretty big, I guess. Uh, we need to change the line color because you clash with the other line color. Uh, so we'll make you yellow, but what we'll do is we'll stop you at Loughton, and then actually that's wrong. Loughton shouldn't be there twice, then you go back here to Royston and then that means basically that it just comes into Loughton and then stops and goes back so I guess it's like two half circles are being done uh, for the time being and then when we get a bit more money because if we're to do the full circle then we need the frequency we probably need about 10 trains for that and I don't have the money for 10 trains right now so 5 going one way and 5 going the other that's how frequent I want it to be if we can nail that properly, then that would be great, because the profitability would be amazing. Uh, but I think that's that built there. No need to have you in there. So that's that line built. So you are the... You are one big, big line. We're going to call you the Ride Philly... I'm not going to name every single one. We're just going to call it the Ride Philly Loughton, so I know which way in general it is going. So that is that done. What you're going to do is you're going to get two trains, and we're going to give you some of the newer trains, some of the trains that go a little bit faster. So the new carriage can go up to 120 kilometers per hour. So we're going to add one, two, three, four, five, six carriages onto you. So you can carry quite a lot, and you're going to get the new, I think... Well, the A4 can go at 145 kilometers. The Flying Scotsman can go at 120. So, the Flying Scotsman, I think, could be a little better. So, we're going to go ahead and make that a train there. So, that's our fourth train. And we're going to go ahead and duplicate this as well. So, clone vehicle. That cost me another 10 million. So, we've literally just gone ahead and spilt 20 million on two trains there. But we're going to go ahead and assign you to the ride Philly Loughton line. And same with you. And then we'll see how that does. Now, obviously, we don't have buses supporting that part of the line, so it might struggle for profitability for a while. How much are you going to cost me a month? Running cost, or running cost a year is going to be 1.6 million, which, to be honest, isn't even that bad. It really isn't even that bad. So, and you'll have access to both sides of the station here as well, which is good to see. You should stop. I'm pretty sure I have done all my signals correctly, so I'll probably get a warning which is a good thing about this game actually, it gives you warnings if you land up doing something wrong, so uh, you shouldn't crash anyway. The frame rate just having a meltdown of course when the game saves. So Royston, I'm hoping Royston is going to have quite a lot of people because Royston is probably the second biggest or the next biggest town on the line outside of Loughton and Ride. So as you can see the amount of people waiting here on a train is just ridiculous, like... 157 people waiting, so we might even have to add on an extra train onto that line because that's just absolutely mental. So you're coming up the hill, you're full. You're near enough full. So that's two of the trains on the line and the other one's here and you're near enough full as well. So we might need to go ahead and add in an even extra 
train onto that line as well. This is really just all trains right now. What I am going to do though is I am probably going to go ahead and I really want to go ahead and alter some bus lines. I think we really do need some bus lines going from some of these places here. Uh, what I actually want to do is I want to create a road which goes from Royston over to Wills Den because there's not, there's literally like a gap in the middle uh, which doesn't connect up which is really frustrating so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do very quickly. It just means that there is a possibility for a bus and it means in the future we can go ahead and do that. So you're just going to be, the good thing is about a road they can be windy as anything so I don't know why you're being that windy though. Build you to there, build you along here. This part seems relatively flat. It should be a relatively flat journey in to Wells Den. Have you curving and then intersect this road here, like so, and then you're just gonna join on to that road there. And there we have it. So that's that road built. So it just means now that those two, for example, before, if you wanted to go from Wells Den in the car all the way around to Royston, you would have to go back over the bridge, back into Ride, through Chesham, over the bridge to Haverhill, into Loughton and into Royston, which is just a ridiculous journey, which is just unnecessary. So building that road, definitely think that is justified and will definitely make just people's, I mean, even if it doesn't benefit my transport company itself, it'll just benefit other people on the map, that is for sure. And I'm glad we went ahead and built that. So Royston, I'm starting to think you could do with your own loop actually, I mean Royston has grown a bit in size, I think that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. I realise I said I wouldn't do buses but we are going to do some buses for the time being just before we wrap this episode up. So with that built, let's go ahead and just very quickly build you a uh, connect and then also want to just look at the other buses in general and see how they're doing. So add a bus stop down here, add a bus stop down here. Add a bus stop over here, have one over here, have one obviously outside the railway station, that's the main purpose of that line, and then we can have another one round about there as well. So with that all done, let's go ahead and create ourselves a new line. The new line's going to go from here to here, up to the train station, over to here, then you're going to go into Park Lane, you're then going to come down to North Street and then you're going to go into there, you're going to go into the Royston branch and then you're just going to come back the way you came. Though we seem to be getting a lot of crossovers here which I'm not liking. A lot of crossovers, a lot of really unnecessary crossovers here. Not really at all sure why that is, is it because one of you only has a bus stop at one side? I'm not really sure, it's probably an obvious mistake. I'm just gonna leave it to be honest because it's mostly correct. So we're just gonna call you the Royston Connect. Go ahead and set you up. I'm really confused. I actually do wanna solve this very quickly. So one, two, oh wait, mm, seven and nine. So one and eight, so you go in there for eight. So seven and nine, so you should be six and 10. You're five and 11. So what's the problem? One, ah, it's really strange. No idea why. Anyway, uh, we don't have a bus depot out here actually, which is interesting. The reason I want to improve buses in Royston Wills then is because these are gonna hopefully connect up to Greenleys, Fairford and Pateley Bridge. That's probably gonna happen in the next episode, though I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna do in that episode yet. I come into every episode with a rough idea of what I want to do and sometimes that's achieved, sometimes it isn't. Anyways, let's go ahead and build you there by road vehicles. We're going to give you... We'll give you six. And I guess we could have gone ahead and deployed the new bus actually, that's a very good point. I should probably keep that in mind. So you are now called the... Why is the line not here? The Royston connector is there. There we go. So that's used deployed. So we'll see how you do it. There is someone waiting here on the train. There's two people waiting on the train, which is good. I don't actually know if the trains are going. I suppose we're not going in a circle right now. So you're not really bothering about clockwise or anti clockwise. You've got one passenger on you, and you have 
two passengers on you so again things are going to be very slow to start and I think this line might struggle to make a profit for a while just until we add more buses in. As you can see though 18 people waiting there, it's good starting sign, 13 people waiting there, another good starting sign. Philly you could probably get a connect uh, down the line and you've got 13 people waiting and then back to the Grand Central Station of motherfuckers. You've not got anybody waiting unfortunately. But Jesus Christ, I just feel we need another train on that line. That's not even a joke. Like, I really do feel we need that. So as you can see, 6.82 million, but literally every single time a train leaves, it's full. Literally. So I just want to check out the other stations, because we might add in another train, because we have the money for another train. 44 people waiting there. God knows how many people waiting here, 117 people waiting here. Are both of you up the line here? Where are the other trains? There's one here, and you're full. Yeah, we're building another train. Absolutely no problem, we're building another train. Sales also got a lot of people waiting for the bus as well, so I guess we might as well go ahead and add in more buses there. Because, like, the buses that are coming up, they're just way too full, so... Just a wee bit more building and then I think we're going to go ahead and wrap this episode up here. So we're going to continue with the same train on that track. Or no, should we upgrade to the new? We should maybe go to our new format which is the Flying Scotsman. I want to see this cash drop actually because this is a full train. How much am I going to get? Yeah, 1.2 million. That's so tasty. So we're going to go ahead and buy the new train. Now the new train format costs I believe like 10 million so it costs quite a bit more because the carriages alone near enough cost a million and the train costs what 4 million so it costs about 10 million which is a lot more than the original. I think the original train was costing us about 7 million and that was the class A35 with the older carriages. So let's go ahead and assign you to the ride Loughton line and I just want to very quickly check how our new train's doing. So our new train is at a frequency of 17 minutes which just really isn't that high at all and it's at a quite a bit of loss right now. Hopefully that will improve over time though. Uh, the Royston Connect is making a loss but that's just new. I want to go ahead and add in more buses, even more buses somehow onto the Ride Sail Wembley line because there's just so many people waiting. I'm literally going to add, it's going to be the new buses as well. We're going to add in, I'm going to do like something really, really bold here. I'm probably going to add in like 12 new buses. So, are we ready for this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I think we'll go with 10 actually because that has cost us obviously the... Ah, oh, fuck it. 11, 12. Set use to the line and this should hopefully deal with all the people waiting. I mean, literally there is a bus pulling in every few seconds. Uh, but a lot of them are just full, that's the problem. So, Ride Sail Wembley, off this new fleet goes, and let's see how it looks. It's in an interesting colour, I'm just doing random colours now to be honest, I'm really not too bothered about colours. But off they go, and they're looking not bad at all. That car's being a bit cheeky and poking itself in there. But those should definitely go ahead and help out on that line. And, I mean, sales just got so many people waiting in it. Like, I, buses are obviously getting here, but as you can see, buses are near enough full. That one only had nine passengers, which is strange, though. But there are lots of people waiting. There's 62 people alone at that bus stop. There is, over here, 60 people waiting at that bus stop. And then coming up here, there's probably going to be similar. Wembley's got a lot of people waiting as well. So... There's definitely room for those buses to go ahead and make us some more money, that is for sure. And with that done, that is pretty much this episode going to be wrapping up here. So the Ride Loughton train line, which I probably need to rename like the Ride Loughton Chesham line, that line has lost a bit of money, but it's because it's just got a new train, which will hopefully go ahead and help things out. Slowly but surely the Ride Philly Lighten train will hopefully go into a bit more profitability. I get, why is there so many people here? 144, it's just mad. And again, up here at Lighten, Lighten is actually, like, every single station at Lighten is busy. Like, 209 people, are you actually mental? Like, wow, 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 wow. Anyway, enough with that. 
But overall, we are doing really well. We did spend a lot of money this episode, and I mean a lot of money this episode. So hopefully in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and focus mainly on buses and just, I guess, improving our trains. So that shouldn't cost us as much money, that's for sure. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this episode of Transport Fever. If you've got any comments or suggestions, then leave them down in the comment section below as I'm not recording this and tomorrow's episode back to back. So anything you do leave in this comment description, I will be able to implement for tomorrow. But that is all for this video, so thank you very much for watching. My name is Conflict Nerd Callum, and I'm out.